Hello and welcome to SeedProd, the number one landing page builder for WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way to create custom login pages in WordPress. If you're not certain what SeedProd is, please visit seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. Once there, click on Get SeedProd to select the account that makes the most sense for you. You can check out the features page here. For everyone else, I'm going to assume that you already have SeedProd installed. If you don't, you can scroll to the bottom of the page. Under Helpful Links, we have Documentation. Here we have a Getting Started section. You can click on this and go to the installing and activating the pro plugin. This will have the instructions for you to install the plugin. At the bottom, there's a video tutorial if you need that. Next, let's come over to the WordPress dashboard and you should see SeedProd in the menu on the left hand side after you've installed it. Let's go ahead and click on pages here. Next, you'll see different modes such as coming soon, maintenance mode, login page, 404 page, and at the bottom, you can create your own standalone pages. Today, we're looking at the login page. So let's go ahead and set up a new login page here. And next, SeedProd is going to ask you to choose a new page template. By default, it's filtered by the login page templates. If you click all, there's 150 plus professionally designed and mobile friendly templates. Today, we're just looking at the login pages. And here you can select one of the templates that makes the most sense for you. I'll just pick a random one here. This is called Greenery Login Page. And you can give it a name, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to say Sign In. And you can see the page URL right here. And I'm going to click on Save and start editing the page. And there you go. You've already imported a professionally designed template. And you can now modify this completely you can change it however you like on the left hand side we have blocks that we can drag into the page such as standard blocks and advanced blocks woocommerce blocks at the bottom so for example if you wanted to show a pricing table for some reason you could put that down here and that would import right into your page now, that's not a very good example so let's find something like social profiles maybe you want to show those at the bottom of your sign-in page next we can click on block settings here and this works the same way for all blocks after you click on block settings they'll have their own options and features on the left hand side that you can modify so we can add new social media accounts if we want or edit the current ones by clicking the cog wheel beside here and putting the URL in. We also have different styling options and sizing options and alignment options. There's plenty here to use and customize. We also have templates. Now these are quick ways to change the look of the icon. So when I click here, you can see that, that updated instantly. You can see different versions of these until you find one that you like. Next under advanced, you have advanced options such as the style and the colors and the spacing and device visibility. Everything you need to create great looking pages. Now you might notice a background image here that you can see on the bottom left we have global settings we can click on and we can click on background and this has a background image applied. We can delete this and you can upload your own image or you could use a stock image and you can just search the images here so you can put in a certain keyword for something that you want to look for. So here I typed in cooking. Let's go ahead and I'll pick this random one of food and you can see that that adds that into the background here. You also have different options here such as the full screen cover. You can change what that looks like. You can change whatever makes the most sense for you. You can also dim the background here. So maybe that looks a little too bright. We could put that down a bit so you can barely see it there a bit. You'll also see that this is aligned to the right side. We have the content position here. So maybe you want to put this center center or you could put it top right or you could do anything creative that you can think of here. I'll leave this to the center right for now. Once you're happy with everything, we can save the page and let's go under page settings. And here you have various options such as your page title, the status, CPROD link, isolation mode and all of these different options. Options. We also have the SEO section and the script section. Let's come back to general. And down here, I just wanted to show you something specific to this login feature, which is redirect the default login page. So for example, you have the wp-login.php page that will now redirect if we enable this feature. So this should go to our new sign-in URL. Let's go ahead and save this again and click the drop down and click publish. Let's go ahead and see the live page. And there we go. We can see that I'm at seedprod.local. This is just local on my machine slash sign-in. So this is my custom URL. And there we go. We can see the sign in page that we just created. I'm currently logged in as a user. If I click log out and there we can see that sign in form that was in our seed prod page builder. I'll go ahead and log in again with my username. You can use the username or the email address and the password and we'll sign in now. It's going to redirect me to the WP admin. That's fine. If I go to the default WP login page, you'll see that it doesn't work. It still goes here. And that's because there's one more important step. So make sure you come back to seed prod and pages. And right here, you'll see under login page, this needs to be turned active. Make sure that's turned on or it won't work. Now, if I come back to the default login page and refresh, you can see that, that automatically redirected us to the sign in page. So there you go. Seedprod is the fastest way to create custom login pages in WordPress.